Hey guys, it's Colin from the Dynamic Beaver again. Just wanted to give you a quick uh, recap on the U Design B Design theme that I created using Beaver Builder and Dynamic Website Builder. Uh, we have a finished site now. I actually went back and spent uh, about five or ten minutes just uh, going up and cleaning up a little bit and changing some of the fonts and also adding the footer area. You'll see down here, I just, um, in the last video, I only had calendars down there. So I actually went in and uh, tried to recreate the exact same thing as what was happening over at um, at the original site. So let's uh, let's start from the top. We'll, we'll go to the uh, top of the original, which is the U design. Um, so we're right at the top here right now. I'm going to refresh the page so you can get the, uh, the screen at the top there. I'm also going to go over to the top of uh, my B design and refresh the page over there. So we're actually uh, going to be just out of sync a little bit uh, from over here. But here we go. We can see that we've got at the top here, we've got our U design logo and menu items and obviously our uh, social icons and phone number. If we go over to the B design, I should actually drop down a little bit because of the uh, the admin bar up there, but um, we, we've got the same kind of thing happening. We've got the phone number, we've got the uh, icons. You can see that straight nose up a little bit and also brought the menu down a little bit. So if we go back over here, we've got this uh, Revolution slider. I really did nothing with this. I just imported it as is. So that one's that one's uh, pretty much exactly the same. But below that, we've got this kind of uh, welcome call to action kind of uh, in in the in the center of the site here. And you can see that uh, not quite the same fonts, but it's it's close enough for this purpose. And then below that, we've got these call outs. And so we've got these four callouts over here on the original one, and I've got the four callouts over here. So if we if we do a comparison, there's the original, there's the ones I've created. I did copy the the graphics over, so not too much difficulty there. And then the next section, this one caused me a little bit of a problem because I couldn't create in Beaver Builder. I did, didn't have the capability to uh, put in two buttons like we have down here. So I had to improvise and just put one button. Um, I could have used a bit of code to do that, but this was a no-code exercise. So anyway, um, it was one button. One button's better than none, I guess, but uh, two buttons would have been better. Maybe um, Beaver Builder will actually integrate uh, two buttons option or two columns within a column option in the near future. And if we go down a little bit, uh, we've got the three graphics there. And we've got the three graphics and the three buttons. Uh, we were able to create those. My buttons are a little tiny bit bigger, but no big deal. And down, the, this was the tricky bit here. So on the original one, we've got this this kind of parallax action happening. And over here, um, I've recreated the same effects using a different image, um, which was which was pretty cool actually. I, I really enjoyed doing that with the with the um, Beaver Builder. It was very very simple to do. And over here we've got uh, the big orange stripe with a button inside it and a big orange stripe with a button. Once again I wasn't able to create this outline button in, UD in uh, Beaver Builder so I've just created a black button which was contrasting against there. And then on the footer we've got uh, we've got these footer items down here which are essentially just widgets and uh, with latest posts and stuff like that. So that's a, that's a recap of the whole site. Um, if you go to my website, uh, dy dynamicbeaver.com, you'll see the latest post on there is actually about the, um, the finished site. Anyway, that's it for now. I hope to catch you soon. I hope you enjoyed this. I will be recording more videos soon. Uh, just stay tuned and look out for more Beaver Builder tips and also Dynamic. Thanks a lot and hope you're having a great day. Bye now.